welcome to the World Astral channel. We were not active here on YouTube because of the obvious reasons. It's been two months since the full-scale war in Ukraine and travel channel wasn't something we would ever prioritize under such circumstances. Um, as you may assume, our lives changed and we've got a new reality. Last time we posted a video about our evacuation and the ways you can help Ukraine and its people. Even though it doesn't feel right to post such content during these times, I realized that mounting the videos distract me from the reality. And I really hope to keep exploring the world after our victory. So I'm posting this video from my solo trip in Germany back in January. And do not be surprised by the clothes I wear because it was quite cold in winter, you know. Frankly speaking, after watching this episode, it felt like it was a previous life. But again, I'm posting this video to remind myself that we should not give up on things that make us a little bit happier through the darkness. Let me know what you think about it. time to leave Frankfurt and go to one more charming city in Germany, Cologne. I've been there two years ago, but I had only one day in the city, so I feel like I need more time to explore it. So I had my breakfast, I'm all dressed and ready to check out. I will take a bus to Cologne. It will take two hours, 45 minutes to get to Cologne airport and then to Cologne Hauptbahnhof Central Station. So, I'm heading to the central station to catch my bus and the ticket says that I have to bring my tickets. My ticket says that I have to bring my tickets. <laughs> anyway, the girls in the reception were kind to do that for me. But it's not... I think it's not obligatory. But let's see. You know, it's so dark at 8 a.m. here. The night I came here. According to the ticket details, the bus was supposed to depart from Area B. Certainly, I should have started my search from the outside of the central station. Okay, so lucky for me, I came here 30 minutes earlier because I get lost. The area is huge and it's challenging to find the right one. the time from Frankfurt to Cologne. So, I arrived to Köln airport. Uh, the bus stop is here. I don't know why not at the city center, but uh, it takes 20 minutes to go from the airport to the city center. So I will find the S line first. This is right here, so it's easy to get from the airport to go on. Yeah, and we'll take it from there.
No worries, guys. You won't be lost here. You'll see the signs that lead you in the right direction. The ticket machine is pretty straightforward. Just choose Köln Hauptbahnhof and you'll arrive in the heart of Cologne. Yeah, this is the first thing you'll see after you exit the central station. Oh wow, that one is huge. The first thing I want to do is to check into my hotel. As usual. <laughs> So I'm lucky to live in the city center or very close to a city center and most of the attractions are really nearby, you know, the fortification, uh, the castles and it's 10 minutes on foot to the Cologne Cathedral. After checking in, I headed to the most popular spot in Cologne. Guess the place? Yeah, it's Cologne Cathedral, the second tallest church in Germany, which is placed on the UNESCO World Heritage Danger List. This cathedral has a typical Gothic architecture. It can hold more than 20,000 people. Oh, I'm freezing again. <laughs> what about entering the cathedral? When I entered this amazing building, my jaw dropped. This architectural masterpiece appeared so super massive. The construction was begun in 1248, but it was completed only in 1880. So it took more than 600 years to construct it. The cathedral treasures include medieval sculptures, reliquaries, liturgical articles, numerous relics and finds from Frankish tombs. One of the most precious treasures is the Shrine of the Three Kings. It holds the bones of the three wise men from the Bible and 2,000-year-old clothes. The windows in Cologne Cathedral contain the largest series of stained glass windows. 95% of the glass is original, which is extant from the 14th century. The interior of the cathedral includes the large carved altar, Agilolfus. It was created in Antwerp in 1520 and focuses on the life and passion of Jesus. The Cologne Cathedral is open to tourists from Monday to Saturday between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. and on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. Guess what's on my bucket list after the cathedral? Another church! Thereby, I headed to St. Gerian Church. The origins of this one date back to late Roman times. Some say it's the most beautiful medieval church in Cologne. Hmm, weird. I thought that churches do not have days off. It turns out that they have. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm heading to the Neumarkt. I think it's New Market. Yeah, it's located next to the old town, and I think it's a part of the old town. 
and it's very beautiful during the Christmas time but I think that today they do not have it anymore like I mean the Christmas market because it's January 16th and yeah I doubt they kept it but anyway let's check everyone says that it's really beautiful there the Neumarkt is the largest square in Cologne Basically, it's a place where you can buy anything or dine in. It also holds the largest shopping center in the city, Neumarkt Gallery. Unfortunately, the Christmas spirit is gone, but it still looks lovely. But no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside you to catch you if you fall. A deep and Walking towards the Rhine River, you'll come across Cologne Old Town. It dates back to the Roman Empire times, and you'll find cute alleys lined with colorful, unique houses, boutiques, cafes, and galleries. Since the Old Town was destroyed during World War II, most of the buildings were reconstructed. You'll notice this right away as the houses look new, colorful, and renovated. I decided to end my first day in Cologne by walking along the Rhine River. The Rhine embankment promenade opens up a marvelous view of the old town, Cologne Hohenzollern Bridge and the Rhine River itself. Hey all! I took a break at my room, um, just, you know, had some rest before exploring more and uh, um, yesterday i cannot say that it was a productive day no it was not at the end of the day my phone died and i just didn't want to charge it because i wanted to you know take a walk all by myself um without phone without any devices just you know enjoy the cologne at night and it's so magnificent you know i didn't take the photos i didn't shoot the videos and it was such a great time i just was alone with my thoughts <laughs> but today i promise to be more productive so the plan is to go and take the COVID test the first thing in the morning and then proceed exploring Cologne. So I'm gonna show you Cologne from the top, from the Cologne Cathedral and Cologne Triangle. This is one of the skyscrapers in the city. Also, what is the plan to visit the park? Here is Nagasaki Park. It's recommended by the TripAdvisor and all of the blogs. So I will also check it out if it's worth visiting. <music> I have already checked out and heading to take my habit test to enter some restaurants and maybe I'll check some museums out. I don't know. So yeah, I have time until 10 p.m. It's almost 11 a.m. right now, so I will definitely need to sit down somewhere, you know, to charge my phone, to eat, drink some tea, maybe go to some pubs. <laughs> results to my email and finally we'll be able to sit down somewhere today you know it sucks when it's valid only for 24 hours okay so excited i'm going to climb up to the 
top of the cathedral to see the city from the top. So um, it requires only Gucci, not Gucci Plus. And let's check if it's free of charge. Yeah. So the way to the top is actually outside of the cathedral. So I need to turn left and go downstairs. Huh. Yes guys, no joke, there is no elevator here. So I had to climb 533 steps through the bell tower to get a bird's eye view of Cologne. Where you been? Where did you it took me 10 minutes to climb to the top and my pulse was exceeding all the standards. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know I stopped complaining when I saw this I was provided with a fantastic panoramic view from a height of 97 meters. I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close. Say that you won't go. Say that you won't go. It's been so cold without you here. There are 11 church bells in the upper section of the cathedral. The largest one is St. Peter's Bell, which weighs 24 tons and is 3.2 meters wide. I want you back here with me We never should have said So I stopped by in the Italian restaurant And I just need more energy, I just need to charge my phone Wait until the weather is better Say that you won't go I can't cope without you Hiroshima Nagasaki Park is a peaceful place to escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. It also opens up a wonderful view of Colonial's broadcasting tower. The park was named by the Cologne Peace Forum in honor of the bombings that occurred in these Japanese cities. There are two things left in my agenda, and I can't live without showing you two amazing places. The first one is the Hohenzollern Bridge or Love Log Bridge. Hohenzollern Bridge crosses the Rhine River between the Cathedral and Cologne Triangle. As you can 
Tbilisi, it became a place where couples demonstrated their love. It seems like there is no free room for another luck anymore. Okay, so we are heading to Colon Triangle to get a fascinating 360 degree view of Colon City. So I'm going there during the twilight just to catch, you know, the moment of how day becomes the night <laughs> is the most romantic part of the day, I think. almost got lost <laughs> like it's not that hard to find actually but I'm just so exhausted till the end of the day I just have no energy at all I need just more coffee Definitely better than the observation deck at the top of the Cologne Cathedral, and it's cheaper. So it's five euros here and six euros for the observation deck at Cologne Cathedral. Mm, yeah, I love this one much more, and it's like clear visibility, and it's 360 degree view. I think I will wait until it gets dark because I think it looks even more beautiful at night. I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known that you would go find your own way. I still see when we climbed up in those trees, 12 years old, to feel the wind and watch the river run. Would always shine when we sat there, you and I. The river's gonna crap when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna crap when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna crap when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna crap when you're. The perfect way to end the Cologne trip is to taste Kelsch in one of the pubs in the old town. Kelsch is a beer that is produced in 13 breweries around Cologne. The point is that it's not allowed to be brewed outside the region, according to the Kelsch Convention of 1985. <sighs> oh, look at this. I'll 
miss Cologne, even though it's my second time here, I feel like it's enough, you know? Yeah, it's enough for me to come here twice. Maybe I'll come back in a few years, uh, like in five or six, but not earlier. No, it's very small, not tiny, but really small city. You can explore it within a couple of days. Yeah, but it's lovely. It is. You know what you should consider while planning your trip to Cologne? Taking a night walking tour. The city reveals its features differently. Just take a look at the beautiful Cologne Cathedral. and thanks for the nice memories, Kalan. As for me, it's a quiet and peaceful place to appreciate the culture and have some time off. So, coming here for a weekend would be the best case scenario. Don't forget to include this charming city on your German travel list. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in how you can help the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian armed forces during these devastating times, please check the info in the description below.